Hello everyone, today I'll be teaching about 1.2 measuring and constructing segments. Core concepts, congruent segments. Line segments that have the same length are called congruent segments. You can say the length of AB is equal to the length of CD, or you can say AB is congruent to CD. The symbol means is congruent to. So AB is congruent to CD, and this is the signal sign to denote that it is congruent. Next slide. All right, so example. I'm gonna clear this. All right, so plot J, K, L, M, and then according to the plane, then determine whether J, K, and L, M are congruent. So I'll point out these points. Negative three comma four, that's J. And then K two comma four. L one comma three. And then one comma negative two is M. So this is so I'll connect these two points. So JK. One, two, three, four, five. Five units apart, so this is five. For LM, one, two, three, four, five. So LM is also five units apart, so you can say that JK is congruent to LM because they are both five in length. All right, so next slide. Postulate, postulate 1.2, segment addition postulate. If B is between A and C, then AB plus BC is equal to AC. If AB plus BC is equal to AC, then B is between A and C. So you can see that B is between A and C, and AB plus BC is equal to AC. Next slide. All right, so example, find DF. So you can see that DF is made up of segment DE and EF. So DE is 3, 23, and EF is 35. And that, if you add them, you get 58. So DF is equal to 58. And for GH, FG plus GH, is equal to 36. And you know that 21 is FG. So 21 plus GH is 36. If you subtract 21 on both sides, you get GH is equal to 15. So GH is equal to 15. Next slide. All right, so let's get to the exercises. I'll do the odd numbers. So instead of just graphing, you can do it mathematically. For example, you can see that for point A and B, their X values are the same. So you can just find the difference between the Y values. So eight minus five is equal to three. And then for point C and D, their X values are also the same. So you can find the difference. So zero minus negative three is equal to three. And since three is equal to three, you can say that a segment AB is congruent to segment CD. Number 11. For this uh, problem, you can see that for point A and B, their Y values are the same. So in this case, you can just do, you can find this, uh, the difference between the X values. So eight minus negative one is equal to nine. And then for CD, their X values are the same. So once again, just find the difference between the Y values. So 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. And since 9 is not equal to 7, segment AB is not congruent to segment CD. 
Number 13. All right, so you can see that for point A and B, then the uh, X values are the same. So just find the difference between the Y values. So six minus negative one is equal to seven. And for point C and D, their Y values are the same this time. So just find between, just, the, just, just find their, uh, the difference between the X values. So three minus negative four is equal to seven. So seven is equal to seven. So segment A and B is congruent to segment C and D. Next slide. Some other exercises. So an exercise between 15 and 22, find FH. So you know that FH is F3 plus G8. So FG is eight and GH is 14, and A plus 14 is 22. So FH is equal to 22. And for number 16, 19 plus seven gives you 26. So FH for number 16 is 26. For number 17, FH is 11 plus 12. So that gives you 23. So 23 for number 17. And for 18, FH is 4 plus 15, which gives you 19. So FH for this one is 19. It's very easy. OK, for number 19. So F, you know that FG is made up of FH plus 13. So FH plus 13 is equal to 37. If you subtract 13 on both sides, you get FH is equal to 24. So FH is 24. All right, last slide. All right, these activities are just for fun. So number 38. So negative four plus six is two and divided by two is equal to one. And 20 plus 5 is equal to 25, and it's under square root. So root 25 is equal to 5. And then 25 plus 9 is equal to 34. So 25 plus, so it would be under square root, and it's root 34. And it can't be simplified. All right, so 7 plus 6 is equal to 13, and divided by 2. So 13 over 2 is 6.5. Solve the equation. All right, so for this one, you can subtract 5x on both sides, which gives you 7 is equal to 4x minus 17. Add 17 on both sides, and you get 24 is equal to 4x. Divide by 4 on both sides, x is equal to 6. Number for number 43, you can multiply the whole equation by 2, which gives you 3 plus y is equal to 12. So y is equal to 9. For number 44, you can once again multiply the whole thing by 2. That's, that gives you negative 5 plus x is equal to negative 18. If you add 5, On both sides, you got x is equal to negative 13. For number 45, you can add 6x on both sides. And you get negative 13 is equal to 5x minus 23. Then you can uh, add 23 on both sides. You get 10 is equal to 5x and divide by 5 on both sides and x and get x equals 2. Thank you for watching.